Here we're being asked to factor x squared minus 12x plus 36. Uh, and the first thing I notice is that this is a trinomial. And second of all, that this is a quadratic, which has an x squared term. So I'm going to try the method of trial and error. That's, that's a good method. It's a method I prefer for these guys. And the reason is, is I already know the format of what my answer is going to look like, assuming that this guy really does factor. I'm going to have two binomials that are going to foil to give me this quadratic and my f for the the first terms are going to have to multiply to x squared and that can only be x times x and then i can focus my, my attention actually on just the last two numbers that i know have to multiply to be 36 and add to be negative 12. so i'll take the 36 and i'll write down everything that could multiply to 36. It could be 1 times 36 it could be 2 times 18 it could be 3 times 12, it could be 4 times 9, or it could be 6 times 6. Any of those would multiply to 36. And the way I, I typically teach this to my students is I don't worry about the pluses and minuses until closer to the end of the problem. If you have an instructor that wants to see literally all the pairs that multiply to 36, you would need all these as well as the negative 1 and the negative 36 and the negative 2 and the negative 18 but that's going to make your list really really long so let's just leave our list like this and let's scan our list let's look down our list and see which of these if the signs could be anything we wanted them to be could possibly add up to a negative 12. well 1 and 36 i don't care what your signs are those can't add to negative 12. 2 and 18 same thing 3 and 12 four and nine, maybe the six and six. Now again, I'm not saying that six and six are gonna be the right answer or part of the right answer, but they're good uh, uh, suspects. They're, they're a good option to try. They're a likely candidate to be part of the factored form. So to get a positive 36 when we multiply, it would either have to be a plus and a plus or a minus and a minus. Now, if we had a plus and a plus, that could not add to negative 12x, but minus 6x and minus 6x does add to negative 12x, as well as negative 6 times negative 6 multiplies to 36. So this is our factored form, but I chose this example on purpose because I wanted to illustrate something to you. Every so often you'll get a factored form where the first factorization and the second factorization, or the first factor and the second factor are the same thing. And so technically the way we should actually write this for a final answer is x minus 6 quantity squared because that's what it means to square something. It means to take it and multiply it times itself. And so this is what we call a perfect square because it gives you a quantity that's perfectly squared. And so when you have that situation where both factors are the same, you should write it as something squared.